Hello everyone, welcome to In 5 Minutes. In this video, we are going to see the next problem on application of double integration. So this is our question. Find the mass of the plate in the form of crescent, which is inside the circle r equal to 2a cos theta and outside the circle r equal to a. Given that density at any point varies as the distance of that point from the pole. So r equal to 2a cos theta r equal to a indicates in this we are given the polar coordinates. So r equal to 2a cos theta is nothing but circle passing through origin center is on the positive x axis and r equal to a is a circle center at origin. So we have r equal to a circle something like this and r equal to 2a cos theta circle is something like this. Both the circle have radius. A. So these are the two circles. This is r equal to a and this is r equal to 2a cos theta. Find the mass of the plate in the form of crescent. What is crescent? Crescent is a shape of a moon. So we have to find the moon shape which is inside the circle r equal to 2a cos theta and outside the circle r equal to a. So inside this circle, so inside this circle is this portion and outside r equal to a so this is what we are looking at now if you see only this part this part is in the shape of the moon so that's why it is called as crescent so we have to find the mass of this area so our mass will be given by double integration over region r here we have the polar coordinates so rho r dr d theta what is rho rho is density so density at any point varies as the distance of that point from the pole. So let's say we have some point P here and the density is K times K is some constant varies as the distance of this point from the pole. Pole is nothing but origin. So this is the distance. So this distance is nothing but R. So density is K into R. Okay. So we have to find the mass of this area. But if you see this part and this part are exactly same, we will find the mass only for this part and we multiply the mass by two so that this area is also get covered. Since it is a polar coordinate, so we are considering rays starting from this point and ending on this point. Why? Because we have to cover only this portion. Okay. So the lower end of this ray is on circle R equal to A. An upper end of this ray is on this circle where r is 2a cos theta. We will move this ray from this point till this point. So here theta is 0. What is theta at this point? This point is nothing but intersection of the two circles. So we will equate this to equation. We get a equal to 2a cos theta. So a a will get cancelled. We get cos theta equal to half. When is the cos theta half when theta is pi by 3? So at this point, we have theta equal to pi by 3. So we are moving this ray from theta equal to 0 till theta equal to pi by 3 so that this region is covered. And this region is R where we are performing integration. So after finding the mass of this region, we will multiply this mass by 2 so that this entire region is covered. 